Let me start this by saying one thing. If you get offended by profanity, then this is not the video for you. Guys over 35, maybe in your 40s, maybe like me, you're in your 50s, I want you to listen. I want you to just listen. And again, I'm not a fucking expert, I'm just gonna give you an opinion. You are not a fucking king. You are not a fucking entrepreneur, a boss, blah, 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 none of that shit. Because all these fucking Facebook groups make it out that you need to be part of a group of men who can simply sit down and bitch about how life is tough. Bitch about how the court system is against you. Bitch about how the girls are now boss bitches, but if a guy says that he's toxic, man, you can sit there and fucking complain all you want. The reality is the problem that exists out there, it's you. Likewise, too, the 20-something to steal from a Mike Myers movie. They're all young, dumb, and still full of cum. They've got no fucking idea apart from that that's going for them. You and I, maybe, if you're old enough and you've got kids, know what it's like. And I don't mean a kid that's two or three or four. I mean kids that are teenagers, 20-somethings, because you've been through a lot of shit. You know it's not fucking easy. Your morning routine, you don't give a shit about getting up at five to fucking journal your good feelings. You just fucking get up. You just get up and you go about your day. You do your work and hope that you come home that the kids actually think, shit, dad's actually pretty good. Now, where is this all leading? Well, there's the groups out there that teach you how to do this and teach you how to do that. Well, I mean, if you grew up like me in the 60s and 70s, you didn't need to be taught that. There was a fucking role model there for you to follow. It was probably your daddy or grandfather or maybe an uncle. And yet... Turning it around to today, we're all bringing up the, the wokeness and the bullshit and you've got to be this. Crap. The problem that exists is me. It is me and it is you. So, if like me, in your 40s, you woke up one day, a fat piece of shit, onset sleep apnea, severe facial rosacea, reflux, and then losing sight of yourself... And then you look at the kids and then go and then nothing registers and you keep going on with the same shit. Eating crap, poor sleep, not looking after yourself. And then one day, Mother Nature comes the fucking two by four, smacks you in the head, two strokes, wake up, son of a bitch. We don't need to be part of a group to sit down and talk about our manhood. Man, transgender issues aside... You got a cock and a set of balls? Use them! As I said, if you are, do not like this, move on. Not for you. Maybe someone out there, you might register this. And I'm not saying about you need to be a man's man or it's not toxic or it's not this or not that. Yet at the end of the day, we need to be civil. We do need to act in a society that is changing. But here is a piece for you. If you are that fat piece of shit like I was and you are giving up, then you are the problem. You maybe do need to go and do a workout. You get your stress out. You clear the shit out of your head so you go home and you can be a fucking dad to the kids. You can be a great partner to your significant other, man or woman, doesn't make a difference. But you can be a good partner. You can be a role model. You can go out, you can be a boss at work. You can do all that sorts of shit. But until you control you and are prepared to do a little bit of hard work, get a little bit of sweat, punch a little bit of iron, Thump a little bit of bag. Whatever that is. Sort your shit out. I got nothing more to say. Because what took me this route was I looked at my kids after my little medical emergencies. And I'm going to get you to do one thing. If you do have kids now or you've got a kid on the way or you're thinking about it, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to do this one thing. I want you to imagine that you are so effed up in your own head, you are so overweight, over fat, under muscled, weak bitch, can't do some push up, do what, it, you get what I'm saying? You have not looked after yourself. You cannot represent yourself and your family properly. I don't give a shit how much money you got because there's no amount of money that's gonna save you in hell or heaven when the time comes. Will you look at your kids in your eyes and now imagine this. You are a 30, a 40, a 50 something. You have not looked after yourself. Ah, stuff that. You're walking around with bitch tits and man boobs, a fat gut. You can't see what's 
in the tool shed, you can't even God forsaken see your shoelaces. You fall over and you hurt yourself. You just can't, you can't bounce back up anymore. And all that shit's leading to this. Look the kids in the eye. Imagine this. Hey, honey, dad's on the toilet. I can't reach around and wipe my ass. Can you come and do it for me? Dad's had a heart attack. Dad's had a stroke. He can't do this. Can you wipe my ass? Oh, dad's still fat. Still doing this, still fagging away, still on the Red Bull and vodka, still eating the meat pies. Oh, can you help me get up out the chair? Oh, I dropped my keys. Can you pick my keys up? See a pattern? Your kids are going to come and they're going to get to a point where they're going to go, Dad, knock, knock, son. You're a fat piece of shit. And maybe then you'll change. Maybe then you'll start to look after yourself because I don't give a shit whether you're a rising queen or a high performance this or a group of dads do. I don't give a shit. I want you to look after you. Starts with you. Started with me for me. It will start for Chris for himself. It will start for Gabe, the other guys that we've done some stuff with. But it starts with you. For me, I like to do three things. I like the fitness angle. That's simply because that's the space that I'm in. And I'm fitter, I'm faster, I'm stronger, I can do shit, I can carry the groceries in in one thing, I can change a light bulb, I can work in the car, I can pull the lawnmower, I can rake the leaves, and none of that shags my back. I can go to bed and I can get up feeling better, not worse. I don't need six to half a dozen cup of Joe's, Java shots, or whatever you do to just kickstart the heart. I can get up and go about my shit. Now, yeah, Dad, Dom, you're bragging. You're fucking full of it. Yeah, I am. I'm 50 fucking four. And I'm in a better position than I was at 44 and maybe even 34. And for fuck's sake, I wish I knew all this shit at 24. You don't need to be a Goggins. You don't need to be a Willink. You don't need to be an ex-Navy SEAL, Army Ranger, Paratrooper, whatever it is, SAS. You don't need to be any of that shit. You just need to know that the space between this ear and this ear, there's shit up there and you need to clear it. And yes, maybe you do need to go back and do what we did when we were in our kids in the 60s and 70s, maybe those in the 30s and 40s, where we did do physical activity. We did push, pull, bend, squat, twist, lunge, and we rotated and we did all sorts of stuff and we picked shit up and we pushed shit down, we picked up heavier stuff and pushed it down and we ran further and faster and we come back and we were proud of ourselves. Instead now... We're proud of ourselves if we can sit on the keyboard and we can look at all the woke shit and we can say, oh, isn't that nice? And it's trans this and buy that and this, that. And oh, look at me. Pull your own head out your ass. Look after yourself. Get fit strong. Clear this. Find some skills up here. Read a bit. Do a bit. Learn a bit. Understand what it means to become anti-fragile and not get shit get in your way. A bad day is just a bad day. Tomorrow is another day. Know that each time you eat that crap, highly processed bullshit food and it hurts your gut and it gives you the shits for three days and you're wiping your ass and then if you're old enough and you've got hemorrhoids and you've got blood on the stool, all that sort of shit. Because you know those young guys, the young dumb full of cum? They got no idea. They don't know what it means. They're not old enough. They're still in their diapers. They're still in their training wheels. Rant over. Maybe I've hit a nerve. Maybe you think I'm a crazy old son of a bitch. Whatever. But it's about time we took stock of ourselves and did the simple shit that has been working for years and decades and centuries. Get physical, eat the good stuff. Take some time off, have a rest, go hard, burn the candle at both ends, all that stuff. But up here, know that that space between that left and right ear, there's a thing that's working because you know what? When you don't do all the other shit, this guy, this guy suffers. Nutrition is shown to be all this guy. Working out, the endorphins, all that type of stuff, getting stronger, the, how'd it feel? Again, all this guy. At only 20-something with six-pack.